Hi, Gemini. Welcome to my channel. I'm here to do your April 2019 reading. How befitting to start the real new year off, the real new year with April as a day of starting new endeavors, new projects, new beginnings. Um, so I don't believe in January that's the real new year. I believe that the real new year starts in April. Um, the winter, the seasons mark the times of year. And I feel basically when the seasons end with winter and it's death to all the plants and all the nature things that, you know, have nurtured us through summer, through spring um, and even through fall. When the fall starts, it starts to mark the end and then the cold starts to go ahead. And I feel like once that winter is over, springtime comes in April. That's the mark, the season of a new year, new beginning. Um, even with pagans, they had like the Easter egg thing. I think that they even knew this is the beginning or the mark of births and life. That is the mark of the real new year, not January. So let's move forward, Gemini, with your reading. Gemini, I say the best for last. I do appreciate you being here with me. This is a general reading. This may not resonate with everybody. And this is for entertainment purposes only. So please just be here to me with me to enjoy. Um, I might not be able to read your situation exactly, but take from what you will from the cards. I mean, I possibly can lay out cards and read them incorrectly. If you're familiar with the Rider's Way Tarot deck or even the Witch's Tarot deck, you possibly are already familiar with the readings of the cards. So take your own interpretation to, er, interpretation from them. Excuse me, Mercury Retrograde. I could just be reading or speaking too fast. Um, but take your own, own interpretation from the cards, if you will. If I don't read them correctly according to your situation, just take them as spirit giving you your own message. You know, take the spiritual message from what you can get from them. Don't depend on just my reading alone. I could possibly be reading your situation incorrectly. So without further ado, Gemini, if you allow me to please read for you, I would definitely do that for the month of April 2019. So I will be giving a nine card spread for the three, for the month of April 2019, three for the past, three for the present, and three for the future with the Witch's Tarot deck. I will be clarifying with the Rider's Weight Tarot. The reason why is because with the Witch's Tarot deck, um, you already can see that these are top pink, bottom blue. So the top of the uh, card is pink, the bottom of it is blue. So I don't want to be predisposed to any messages, cards, or the spirit have to send through these cards. I want to have the message fresh and new as soon as I view the card. To me, that's the most accurate message that you can get in your mind when you first view a card. So me knowing that a card is upside down or in reverse or anything like that leaves me predisposed to thinking, oh, this is a good message and this is a bad message. And that could in effect affect the way you read the card. So I don't want to read reversals with the Witch's Tarot, even though I think this is a beautiful tarot deck. I will not read reversals with the Witch's Tarot. I am predisposed to knowing whether it's reverse, whether it's negative or positive. And trust me, although you can read a positive message from a reversed card, it's still you being predisposed to whether it's reversed or whether it's upright. And I don't believe in that. So to a wand, this is just, this card loves me or it's just popping on everybody's Reading. So I'm doing three cards for the past, three cards for the present, and three for the future. Everybody has a choice to make. So this is the page of swords for you in your past. One more card for the past for Gemini, April 2019. One more card, please. One more card. Three for the present for Gemini for April 2019. Ooh. Toxicity. Mm. Let's go ahead and get this. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to take these two back. I don't want to read those two. For some reason, Spirit is telling me not to read those two. I need two cards for the present for Gemini for April 2019. Oh. There we go. 
being defensive, Gemini. Read more cards for the future for Gemini, April 2019. God, the Yoni's bad. I'm so sorry. Fights are happening. I think it's because it's Mercury retrograde that we're having these, like, because I've had five of swords pop up in everybody's reading. One, two more cards for Gemini for the future, April 2019. I've had that pop up in just about everybody's. One more card for the future. Gemini, I feel some, like, very um hard energy with you. Right now, hard energy. Everything's metal. I get this feeling of like um, mm. overall energy is a tower. What's going on, Gemini? What's going on? Something bad happening for you? Under it, the high priestess secrets. I feel like clinking metal to my left side. I don't know. I feel like a, a sword smacking me in the left side of my face. <laughs> I promise you I do. Who's spying on a fire sign? Or is a fire sign spying on you? What's going on with this two of wands? Why is this two of wands here for Gemini? Dealing with a money offer or earth sign? Gemini, it's just all this metal. Like, do you have a choice between two people, or did somebody run off with your girl? Did somebody run off with your earth sign, an air sign, another air sign? You got a decision to make to fight about it, or to fight for it? Or do you have a decision to make between another air sign and an earth sign? Give me two cards for the page of swords. I feel like that page of swords is you, but I feel like this also could be somebody's watching you or spying on you. All this metal, man. It's just all this. You're just pulling your own energy. So we got a queen of swords for the page of swords, clarifying the page of swords. Let me get one more card for the page of swords. a lot of metal. I feel like a lot of sword energy. A lot of sword energy. It's not pleasant energy. It's like very cold, Gemini. Very cold energy. And I'm trying to... Let me stop talking and just listen for the message. Two cards for the Knight of Wands. I'm too far for the Knight of Wands, please. I got three. Working hard on a new offer that you were given that could possibly could complete your world. That's what I just got. Working hard with the Eight of Pentacles. On a new offer that could possibly complete your world. I still don't get this. There are two people. These are two women over this young man. I don't. There's too many people in your energy. Give me two cards for the Knight of Swords. Stuck in your head about something. One, two, 
one card. And a nice swords. Stuck trying to manifest something. You have anxiety over not being able to manifest something. Two cards with a seven of swords. Gemini, this is like the hardest reading so far. Trying to have strength over holding on to this earth sign. What is going on? Gemini, this is literally everywhere. Give me two cards for the chariot, please. It gave me a clear story at first, very simple. But then it's like you got so many people in your your energy, man. Like two cards for the chariot. What is the Gemini moving on from? Being charitable. Moving on from being charitable. Being sneaky. I don't know. I might do this one over. I might redo yours after Satch because this is like mad people in this. I just see hella people in your your aura in your life. You got two people up here, two people up here, one person right here. You got another person down here. Mm. What is this five of swords about? this time for me to take a nap the devil and remember that the devil came out that this card particularly has not come out on this tarot for anybody but the shadow side came out before when i took it back so there's some some type of toxicity that you're trying to purge out of your life one more card for the five of swords one more card for the five of swords that card didn't come out for nobody else for april gemini Nobody. You feel tied and bound to a situation. I can tell you that. Because the shadow side came out first in the original one. Damn. What are you in your head about? What are you trying to make a decision about? Because you went from the two of wands in the past to the three of wands in the future. But are you trying to make a, a decision or you're fighting yourself over some toxic energy or situation that you're dealing with right now? Give me two of cards to explain the tower. What's this tower moment about? Why is the tower the overall energy for Gemini for April 2019? You got a lot of people in your energy, Gemini. A lot of people in your energy, and that should never be. I mean, don't get me wrong. If you're able to deal with that and you're able to, you know, and that's what you want, kudos to you, great. But dealing with a lot of people in your energy causes heartache, strife, stress, and you we're all empathetic beings, whether we realize it or not. So you're gonna pick up on all that energy. That's why they say birds of a feather flock together. That's just a general energy explanation, explaining that you pick up on other people's energy. You share energy with people that you hang around, and uh, whether you like it or not, you exchange energy with people that you're around. That's why I don't like being around people a lot. You exchange that energy. You pick up on it. Again, two of, two of wands, two of cups. So are you in your head about a decision that you have to make dealing with a lover's situation? That much I can get. Dealing with the future, you're going to have to come to a conclusion about some toxic energy that you've been fighting yourself about. You're going to have to make that decision. I don't think that's them. I think this is you. And I think you you got a lot of people in your aura, and your energy. You got an air sign, you got an earth sign, or either you dealing with an earth sign, you dealing with a water sign, you may possibly, again, deal, be dealing with another air sign in your family. I think this is a family situation with the, the young. I think this possibly could be you and maybe an aunt and a mother that you're dealing with an issue with. And you may have to come to some type of, you're being guarded about something you're holding on to. You're trying to keep strength about it, but what? Let me get out of two, two cards for the, the, the King of Pentacles. This, matter of fact, excuse me. This was meant to be for the tower. Whatever decision that you make about this Two of Cups situation, 
is going to bring a tower moment. And that's the overall energy of this whole situation. There's secrets behind this, this tower. There's a secret dealing with something with a two of cups energy that you make a decision on with this person, possibly that water sign. There's going to be a tower moment. Let me get a two cards for the King of Pentacles. This is all over the place, but I'm just not able to read it. Virgo. Dealing with a Virgo. Gemini, I don't know what you got going on with this Virgo situation. It looked like shit went from chaotic to all right to just miserable. Like, one more card for the Virgo. I don't mean to be rude. Don't get me wrong. Because if it was me, I would feel that way. But this went from... All these people in your energy, all of this mess, working hard over this new start, you know, with this fire sign. It just went from chaotic to all right to horrible. One more card for the, the King of Pentacles. And once you make this decision, Gemini, it looks like you're not about to make the right decision, Gemini. Hopefully... Whatever decision you make, you go against it. I don't know. Because it looks like whatever decision you make is going to create a tower moment. You have happiness and love with a Virgo. I see your future very clear. Whatever decision you make dealing with a two of cups energy or two cup situation is going to cause a tower moment. A tower moment. Whatever you do, somehow or another, I feel like that's just going to happen. You have a love situation with a Virgo. You have happiness with this Virgo. But you just got a whole bunch of stuff going on in your life, bro. I mean, whatever you got going on with your family at home, it's like an aunt and a mother that's fighting over you or fighting with you or battling. I got this same reading with Capricorn dealing with a younger air sign energy. So I don't know if it's possibly dealing with a Capricorn that has air or wood in a chart or your mom possibly. Your parents, one is a water sign, others an air sign. Stop all that fighting with your family, though. Mother, aunt, stop that! Stop that fighting. These could be sisters too. What I get from this is Gemini. This is a family situation. In the past, you were fighting with them. Let it go. Let it go. You had some type of issue with your sisters or your mom and aunts. Some female figures in your family you had some type of conflict with. Let it go, Gemini. You are, I feel like you always fighting with your family. No reason. You got a decision to make between this air sign and this earth sign. I think this is the Virgo. Choose the Virgo. Choose the Virgo. There's no reason to choose this air sign. Whoever this air sign is coming in with the bull, ignore it. Because it shows right here in the future your happiness is with this Virgo. Your, your Ace of Cups is with this Virgo. Or with an earth sign. So in the past, you had a choice, a decision between the air sign and the earth sign. Let that air sign go. Or let your ego go. Or let your ego. Because you possibly could be fighting with yourself, Gemini. Geminis tend to fight with themselves as a duality. So when it comes to your ego or this earth sign, you better choose this earth sign to drop your ego, Gemini. Hopefully that's not the case. You could have a fire sign boss. You working hard at work and you got a new opportunity at work to start a whole new situation. 
Keep continuing to work hard with the situation. Do not be stupid. Don't be antsy in the pants and jump out the window. Take this new opportunity you have at work, possibly. Take this opportunity you have at work. is going to give you a whole new start. Keep continuing to work hard with this new start. You got a new start, a new opportunity to, to start you on a whole new other trip. Don't piss this, this boss off. Are you moving on from being a sneaky bastard? <laughs> are you moving on from being charitable? Like, are you moving? I hope that you're moving away from being sneaky and you're moving on to being a charitable citizen. <laughs> I don't know, because I don't know no other way to read these three cards. But I hope you're balancing your life out instead of being negative and being sneaky and moving real sneaky, moving towards being a better person with your life, Gemini. That's if you were being sneaky at all. I'm not saying that you are. Stop being so guarded. Or either this could be a Leo being guarded with you and defensive with you because you're sneaking this in the past. You could be holding on to being guarded. Drop your guard. Be a good steward over your money. This possibly could be a Virgo regaining their strength over you being a stubborn person and being guarded towards them and staving, off, staving them off. Possibly what you could be dealing with right now is anxiety over you trying to manifest stuff and then that just you've been stuck in. It could possibly have to do with your job. I see you working hard and manifesting, you know, Keeping your faith as above, so below. But you being in your head over at the end of the night, you still stuck in the same position. But in the future, I feel like this has to deal with you possibly dealing with a toxic situation. Or a toxic situation coming back around to deal with you. You got some decisions to make. I never got two cards to describe the King of Swords. I think the King of Swords is you, but I'll still get two cards. Let me get two cards to describe the King of Swords. Please, two cards to describe the King of Swords for the Gemini, April 2019. Two cards to describe the King of Swords. Oh, sh there we go. About your money. Be about your money, Gemini. Page of Pentacles. That's what I'm talking about. Be about your money, you'll have victory, but I also have the nine of pentacles come out. I don't necessarily have to be that. It's a lot of single energy behind this. It could possibly be that it's just you being victorious once you start making your money. But also, if you do become single from a, from whoever you are dealing with, from this Virgo or immature person or from whomever this possibly be, you'll still have victory in the long run. But I feel like your happiness... It's here with this Virgo. It's here with this Virgo. You get me? But coming to a decision that you have to make about a love relationship, there's a tower moment that has to happen. But sometimes the tower moment comes in to break us down, to have us start have a new start. You know? So, Gemini, I'm sorry that this was all over the place. <laughs> I try to read it as best as I could, Gemini, I promise you. But it looks like y'all got a lot of stuff going on, Gemini. Like, it's like, I feel like Geminis can be the type of people that will have so much going on just to entertain their mind. You got a whole bunch of stuff going on, Gemini. I ain't this equipped to be dealing with y'all today. But I try, okay? I digress. But <laughs> thank you so much for allowing me to read for you, Gemini. I hope you did enjoy this. Also, I hope that you did get a message from this as well. I try my best to read the, the cards. If you don't take my interpretation well of the cards, which I may not be reading for you, remember, again, this is a general overall reading that multiple people will come here to view to possibly get many stories out of. So there may be more Geminis getting this reading than I am, okay? But thank you so much. Take your own interpretation from the cards and have a wonderful day.